Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Phoenix OS as your main operating system in UEFI mode. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to download the ISO image. So head on to Phoenix OS website and download this ISO image. Second thing is you need to download the application called as Rufus. This is going to be used to write the ISO file to the flash drive. So it's a pretty small download. You can click on this link and download. I have already downloaded both the files. They are sitting on my desktop. I'm going to run Rufus and it requires elevated privileges so go ahead and select yes and I don't want to look for updates and insert the flash drive and from here you can select the flash drive from here you need to specify where is the ISO file so click select and that ISO file is sitting on my desktop select the ISO image and from here you need to be careful you need to specify GPT UEFI and rest everything you can keep default and click start i have already prepared my flash drive so i'll just close this and be careful that whatever content you have in your flash drive just take the backup because it's going to format the flash drive second thing is now we're going to reboot and we will be wiping off the hard drive so just make sure that whatever content you have in your hard drive just take the backup of that so now i'm going to restart this and we're going to go to the firmware settings to confirm that we are set to UEFI mode so let's restart and keep on pressing F12 for you it may be different I'll be pressing F2 to go to the setup okay so I'm in the BIOS and from here I need to change the boot list option from legacy to UEFI and click on apply and exit and again keep on pressing f12 to boot from the the flash drive okay so now you can see that our boot mode is set to uefi and your flash drive is appearing in the legacy mode also as well as uefi so just make sure you go under uefi and select UEFI and uh, this is the flash drive I have inserted so press enter key and that's gonna boot from the flash drive and I want to do the installation so I'll go ahead and select the second option okay so showing you that I have two partitions so first of all I need to delete these partitions so I'll go ahead and select modify partitions from the hard drive and it's asking you whether you want to convert your hard disk to GPT or not. So currently my hard disk is an MBR. I'm going to say yes. It's going to convert it. And now you can delete all these partitions. So using up and down arrow key, you can select the partitions. And you can uh, left and right arrow key, you can delete the partitions. So I'll just select this one. Uh, left arrow key to go to delete, enter and that got deleted again left arrow key to select delete and enter and that got deleted so now we have all free space now over here we need to make two partition the first is the EFI partition that should be at least 100 MB or maximum it could be 250 MB so I'll go ahead with the new option and it's asking you what is the first sector so I'll press enter key as the default and now it's asking you what is the size of that sector so it's asking you in terms of sector so 100 MB in terms of sector is gonna be 2048000 so this is 100 MB and press enter key now it's asking you to enter the GUID of EFI partition so it is EF00 and you can also look in this list when I press letter L and press enter key is going to show the list of all the partition goods so from here you can see that we have EFI system the code is EF00 so press enter EF00 and press enter key and I don't want to enter any volume name so I just press enter key and now you can see the EFI partition got created and before your EFI pre partition also it creates 1 MB free space so that's okay now again select the free space that is now I'm gonna go to new and now it's asking you that what is the first sector so I'll go ahead and accept the default press enter key now it's asking you that what is the size you want to have so it's up to you you want to allocate the entire hard drive to the main 
Phoenix OS or you want to give a portion of that. So I'll just keep default and press enter key and I'll accept the default code, the GUID code for partition and I don't want to give the label also and we are done. So two partitions we have created. Now we want to write this. So right arrow key, right arrow key, enter. And that's asking for confirmation. Just type in yes and press enter key. And now we need to quit from here. So select quit and press enter key. Now you can select that. You can see we have two partitions of the hard drive. So our hard drive is SDA and one and two are the two different partitions. So this is the EFI partition and this is the uh, second part the main operating system partition so press enter key and yes I want to format it in ext4 format enter as asking for confirmation so yes I'm sure Okay, so here it's asking whether you want to install the grub2 to EFI, so I say yes. It's asking you which partition, so the first partition we created 100 MB, that was SDA1, so click on OK. And yes, I want to format it. Okay, so now it's asking you whether you want to install the grub, so that's basically for legacy BIOS mode, so I want to skip that. And now it's doing the installation of Phoenix OS. Okay, so installation is done. Now you can remove the flash drive. And select reboot, enter. And that's gonna boot to the Phoenix OS. Okay, so finally you get grub2, select enter key and now it's going to set up Phoenix OS. And just make sure that your secure boot is not enabled. If you have that thing enabled, you won't be able to boot from the flash drive. So go to firmware settings and disable UEFI safe mode if it is enabled. Now this is going to take 5 to 10 minutes and I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so finally we get the welcome screen, select English, United States from here. Next, accept the license agreement, I want to skip, finish, and finally get the desktop. So if I go to file manager, you can see your main storage. So it's working perfectly fine. So that's all how to install Phoenix OS as primary OS in the UEFI mode. Hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.